I'm Jeff with Precision Replacement Parts. Today I'm here with Greg. We're going to be working on a 1965 Ford Mustang. Greg, what are we doing? We will be installing our WCR 654. The application fits a 64 to 68 Ford Mustang. It also fits a 67 and 68 Mercury Cougar two-door hardtop. Let's get started. Here are the tools you'll need for this project. We're going to start by removing the wiper arms. With a pry tool and a rag to protect the paint, we're going to pry up on this end and press down here because this arm is spring-loaded. And then what you'll find is that the arm is attached via splined hub. The next step will be to remove the chrome to expose the edge of the gasket. Now you'll find the clip spacing anywhere between six to eight, sometimes 10 inches apart. We'll use our chrome clip removal tool. Find the clip. We'll catch the edge of it and rotate our tool to release the chrome. You want to use finesse, try not to distort the chrome on removal. Now what this, what's happening under the chrome is I'm using this leading edge of the tool to pry out on the clip and that'll release the chrome from behind it. Now that we've got the chrome removed, we are going to remove the outer edge of the gasket to gain access for the removal of the glass. Cutting along the windshield to remove the outer layer of the gasket. Now what Jeff is doing on the inside of the windshield is using the weather strip installation tool to cut the seal between the glass and the gasket for release of the windshield. We've attached the glass handlers so we can remove the windshield from the car.
Now we're going to remove the old gasket and prep it for the new install. Now if your application requires you to replace these clips, what you want to do is take a pliers, grab the top leading edge of that clip, pull it straight up away from that post attached to the body. To install the new clip, there's a center section that receives that stud that's on the body. We'll place, put that in place. We'll take the installation tool, force it down to fully seat it onto the stud. All right, so now this weather strip we are going to install on the glass. This one will have two grooves. The first groove is the glass groove. The second groove is a pinch weld groove, and that one is located near the ceiling fins. We'll start our gasket down on the lower corner. Now what we're doing is we are starting the lower lip of that gasket onto the glass and then rolling it to fully seat it into the glass groove. Jeff is stretching it down to the other lower corner. Want to make sure that these corners get lined up with the corners of the glass. Now we've got the three corners on. What we're going to do is we're going to, instead of fully putting the top corner on, Jeff is going to stretch it into that last corner, getting it seated. And then we'll finish installing the gasket onto the glass in these last sections.
Now we'll turn the glass over to see if our corners are where we need them to be and make sure everything is seated. Now we'll turn the glass back over and then insert a rope. Now we're going to insert the rope into the pinch weld groove. Now we've started in the lower middle of the windshield. Now, when we get back to where we started inserting the rope, we're actually going to cross that area, cross over the rope, bring it out onto the windshield, gather the excess and tape it into place. We are now going to put non-hardening sealant on the sealing fins of the gasket. So this will seal the gasket to the body. Now the amount of sealant we'll be using here was you know, somewhere between eighth, maybe a quarter inch bead. That's what I've cut the tip on the tube. Now it's ready for installation in the car. We've attached the glass handlers to the glass. Now we will take the glass assembly with the gasket and take it to the car. We're not trying to install it into the car at this time. We're just kind of setting it in here. We're going to get it centered up. And now we'll go inside and install it with the rope. Now that we're in the car, we're going to take a second look and see how we're centered in the car by looking at the edge of the gasket towards the pinch weld. And at this point in time, we can still move it back and forth if we need to. Once centered, then we can start our installation at the bottom. Now we'll start installing. Now Jeff has light pressure on the outside. Now again, the reason we cross the ropes is so we can pull in the whole section of the bottom. 
keeping the rope parallel with the glass, it'll make it easier to pull that gasket around the pinch weld. Now you want to see this gasket kind of fold over the pinch weld a little bit. Now we're coming up to a square corner. Now you pulling in that square corner sometimes you may have to rotate or make circles with the rope to help bring that in. You don't want to just straight pull, you may rip that gasket. Now again, we're at the top corner, which is another square corner, and I'm again making circles with that rope to prevent ripping the gasket. Jeff still has pressure on the outside. Light pressure, flat handed. Now that we have the glass installed into the car, we are going to be placing a urethane curing adhesive in between the glass and the gasket. And again, we're going to be using oh, about a quarter, a quarter of an inch of bead. Again, we are going to be using a bead that's about a quarter of an inch. Lifting up that gasket, applying it to the glass. Any ooze out that you get after putting this adhesive in, we'll clean it up later. And the reason we're using the urethane in this location again is to keep the water out of the vehicle. Now we're going to go ahead and clean up the extra urethane. What I've done is I've layered up the nitro gloves. This way if you get one pair dirty, you can just take it off and you can keep working. What we're going to do is take foaming glass cleaner, spray it on the excess urethane, and then we'll take a razor blade right along the edge of the gasket and clean the extra material away. Now that we've got all the urethane cleaned up, we are going to install our chrome. Now this chrome has a lower lip on it and that installs between the clips and the body. And we'll just push it down in place. As we start this first piece, we're going to kind of line it up, get it centered side to side. Again, pushing it into place. We did not snap the side of the top area in. What we're going to do is get the side molding underneath that. Put it in place. 
get it lined up behind the clips and install it. Now that we got the chrome all installed, we'll go ahead and do some final cleanup. And you're done.